Season 2, Episode 32 of One Man's Opinion. Today I am reviewing the new Gabriel Byrne one-man show, Gabriel Byrne, Walking with Ghosts, written by Gabriel Byrne, and directed by Lonnie Price, running through December 30th on Broadway at Music Box Theater at 239 West 45th Street in New York City. Adapted from his memoir, the same name, Gabriel Byrne walks us through landmark moments of his life, how they both inspired him and left him with the ghostly memories, both good and bad, of his past. It's a curious thing, memories. I mean, why is the earliest thing I remember being in a playpen in the back room of an A&W with the song Celebration by Cool and the Gang playing on the radio? I don't know. It isn't a remarkable memory in my life, but I remember it. I remember meeting Spider-Man in a department store at the age of four. That one did leave a blasting impression, as Spider-Man is still my favorite superhero 41 years later. The memories Byrne chooses to address, though, are not so trivial as those I just gave examples of from my own life. Though there isn't any new ground being broken with the stories he tells, he does make them deeply personal walking around casually on stage as he addresses the audience, sitting on occasion, speaking to us in his Dublin accent like a world-weary grandfather who is ready to bestow his wisdom on his grandchildren. It's that rooted connection with the narrative that keeps the audience attentive to his tales. Describing his working-class Irish Catholic home life, his grandmother treating him to the movies every time he visited her, something his parents wouldn't do for him. His first acting gig, The night he met Richard Burton on the balcony of a Venetian hotel and went next door to visit him and proceeded to get hammered drunk. These are some of the lighter tales, the happy haunts of his past, so to speak. He also addresses the darker ghosts of his history, like when a friend of his dies from a diving accident, his time in Catholic school and seminary, his long bout with alcoholism. Byrne doesn't over-dramatize anything that he tells the tale of. Even his impersonations of his mother and grandmother are done with reverence. I love Sinead McKenna's scenic and lighting design, particularly with the backdrop of what looks like a shattered window that has lighting that runs through the cracks, illuminating that metaphorical window to the past, but imperfect as memories are, never completely whole, but elements pieced together to create that whole. There's also a great lighting trick that inverts Byrne's shadow against the upstage drop, giving an inverted shadow to the history as well. It isn't necessarily an ominous image, but it does give a sense of warning, a caution about going back and visiting what was before. Walking with Ghosts is a good show. It's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, because not everyone is going to be familiar with Gabriel Byrne and his work, though he has been acting most of his life and been nominated twice for Tony Awards for A Moon for the Misbegotten and Long Day's Journey into Night. He apparently likes his O'Neill plays, because his only other Broadway credit is O'Neill's A Touch of the Poet, which makes me ask, uh, Gabriel, when are we going to get your uh, interpretation of Hickey from Iceman Cometh or your Nat Miller? He has also been in plenty of film and television. American audiences may recognize him most as Keaton in The Usual Suspects or his Emmy-nominated performance as Paul Weston in In Treatment. Regardless, Walking with Ghosts will definitely appeal more to the Gabriel Byrne fan base, but that shouldn't cause people to overlook this production. There are going to be people out there who should hear the story and don't know it because they're not going to go because they don't know who Gabriel Byrne is. And that's a shame, because though, yes, there are no unfamiliar stories with Walking with Ghosts, these are Byrne's stories, and if they can move him, they can move you. But I am only one man's opinion, so be sure to leave yours in the comments below. If you want to see Walking with Ghosts, I'll leave a link in the description. You can support my channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing, and click the notification bell to be alerted to future reviews. My next review will be the Broadway production of The Piano Lesson. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you at the theater.